Exhibit featuring dozens of local artists opens this weekend, but it's the last year it will be open. So Tim Miner with Charlotte is Creative is here alongside Noni, one of the artists who will be featured. How are you both? Great, thank you. We're doing great. This guy is flying high on adrenaline because he's been painting all week long getting ready for this exhibition. We're going to talk about this. First, <laughs> let's talk a little bit, Tim, about what's yeah. happening on Sunday. So Sunday from 1 to 5 at the Mint Museum Uptown on their fifth floor is the opening um, of the Local Street Exhibition. This is a, a, a series of, of cultivated events that um, Carla Aaron Lopez put together starting coming out of the pandemic in 2021. First, it was three days at the Mint Museum Randolph, and it had 40 artists that um, were street artists, BIPOC street artists. And the impetus for this started with the Black Lives Matter mural, and all the attention came to black and brown artists that did that, and the community was like, how do we keep that going? Mm. And so Local Street was to take them from the streets. A lot of the people that were in the first Local Street had never walked into the Mint Museum before. Wow. And now their work, like these works, were hanging on the wall. And so uh, last year was even bigger, and this year is a week long. So Sunday is the opening, but you can uh, you can go to see it on the fifth floor all through the Sunday the 20th. All right, so it's a week long. Mm -hmm. Noni, how did you get involved in this? Uh, I was actually invited to be involved in the project by Carla. Uh, she reached out, as I'm sure she did to many artists, uh, everyone, and uh, she it's something I've always wanted to be a part of since the first one. Uh, when the first show happened, I was just starting out my career and most of the guys that were in the show and ladies were just aspirations and now they're all actually friends. I'm part of a community, so to actually be part of the show now is awesome. What inspires your work, Noni? Uh, resilience, really. My mother's resilience when we got to America, uh, the resilience of my family making it here. You know, me as a father of two daughters, it's, it's uh, one of those things you got to teach your children. Mm, and you're you a first generation immigrant. Yes, I am. So what does that mean to you to have this community, to have this outlet to share your work um, and then for people to come and appreciate it? Well, as I was telling Tim, uh, it's awesome because I don't really have any roots here, mm -hmm. you know, being new. So it's uh, finally awesome to be part of a community and feel like I do have roots in Charlotte. You've got roots now. You're, yeah. You are ingrained, my man. <laughs> Thank Let's you. Let's talk about, again, how long does work like this take you? Uh, usually a <laughs> while, but what's it called? But uh, actually on Wednesday, I scrapped every the process of everything I was on and just, I took it more to street and nature and just feel, uh, painting by instinct. And I just kind of went graffiti and I really wanted to try this style. So I went with it. And from Wednesday till today, this is the finished product. And tell me, like, what is this a mix yeah. of, right? Because it's like spray paint and then like specific, this is like piece yep. by piece here, right? Yep, so it's actually an old printing technique called half tone. Okay. And uh, it actually is, yes, yeah, a variation of smaller and bigger dots that just make up a picture. The further you step out, the clearer the picture looks. The, when you step in, it's just it does, Right, yeah. being right up on it. But you had to do this by hand. Every single yes. dot on here is a motion of his hand with, yeah. a, with a paint pen. Tim, can you give perspective when we talk about all these different artists being yeah. there, the different types of work that people will see when they go? It, it Most of it is is uh, 2D visual art, but there is some sculpture that is mixed in. Mm. Much of it, these are folks that started doing graffiti or painting skateboards or designing shoes. Mm -hmm. um, so you'll see a v wide array of spray paint techniques, lots of cultures, you know, everything from Indian art to Latino art and, and in between. So it, it is a great way to see kind of who's up and coming. Uh -huh. You know, I think when we say emerging artists, uh -huh. people think young, right? This is Noni's second career. Uh -huh. So he, but but art allows you to dive in and, uh -huh. and make a career out of something that's always been a passion for you. Wow, well, being able to live that passion. Yeah, that yeah. That's really neat. That's gotta mean a lot for you. Yeah, up until three years ago, I never thought that art could be a career. Uh, mm -hmm. You know, as a first generation immigrant, I was always just taught the mentality of go to work, go to work, mm -hmm. earn, you save your money, and you know, you'll get by. But this kind of actually allowed me 
a better step in financial freedom and time freedom with my family and children, which is the biggest thing. Yeah. Well, you can see Noni's work in person. I'll put the information on your screen for Local Street. As Tim mentioned, open Sunday. It's going to run that whole week to the 20th. Mint Museum Uptown admission is free, but you do need to register to make sure to go to their site. If you want to follow along with Noni's work, he's on Instagram too. There's his handle on your screen. And of course, always saying thank you to our friends at Charlotte is Creative. There's their website, charlotteiscreative.com. And of course, you can follow them on Instagram, X, and Facebook as well. Thank you both so much. Thank you.